Hello and welcome to Sushi Distance PE with Mr. C. Um, we're playing an odds and evens game today. Uh, this game is a little bit different. Um, you're working as a pair, but you're working as a pair as a team to take on everybody else who's also in a pair or a team. So I'm going to show you one pair today and they're going to be against everybody else. Um, the setup is as follows. You, your cones at the far end can be as far apart as you want them to be. This cone you want in the middle, obviously at least two meters apart with everything. The, um, you need some extra bits of equipment. You don't have to use balls, you can use a sock, just an object, it makes this game 100 times more fun. Okay, um, I'll call them out now and then you can have a quick look, then you can see how the game works. So from Star Wars class today we have Isla. Excellent, eh? Say hi Isla. And from the other Star Wars class, we have Ava. Pirate class. Pirate class. So she wants to use pirate class. <laughs> right. Okay. So basically, it's called odds and evens. So the first thing we decide who's odd, who's even. So you're even. Yeah. And you're odd. Odd. We got that anyway. So if I say a odd number, Ava is going to run and pick up the ball and run it to the <laughs> other cone and place it down. If I say even, I was going to do the same. Now we're going to start off nice and basic here. Remember. Um, a and B in reception, so we're doing very basic odd and even numbers, and I'll talk to you how you can make it harder. Are we ready? I'm 10 years old, by the way. Eight. So she runs, she gets it, sticks it at the other end on the other eight. Cone, and then goes back to the yellow. Five. Good. Remember, you're racing against all the other pairs. Six. I wish you remember where the ball was. The funnest bit of the game is always when they run the wrong way. Good. Remember, you better look around now and see who's quickest. Seven. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Again, it's a reaction game. You've got to think quickly. Two. It's good to get them going at opposite ends as well. Again, you're racing against everyone else. One. Good. Nine. Now we're going to try this. We haven't rehearsed this, so this could be interesting. Um, we're going to do some basic maths now to try and bring a bit of maths in as well. So I'm going to say a calculation. You're going to add it up together and work out what the answer is and tell who to write. You ready? Three add one. Three. Brilliant work. It's a very basic match there. Uh, do some subtraction. Five, take away two. Three, three. Go. Excellent. Oh. Now you obviously could go bigger, you could do smaller, you could do bigger numbers. Okay, so I'm going to say 28. Is that odd or even? Because it ends in a eight. She's got it. Go. What are you waiting for? Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. And they all work together. So this is a big number. Ninety-one. Um. Oh. Odd. Odd. Can I help you, sister? <laughs> I mean, your classmate. Excellent. Okay. Why are you always saying? Brilliant. Okay. Good. Right. I'm going to send them in now to get a drink, wash their hands and things like that. Again, oh, remember leave it there. They do like that again. We'll do another one in a minute. We'll right. Um, go, do you want to walk on in? I'm going to have a poly leg. Go. Okay. Nice, fun game, that one. Um, you can do that. All sorts of things, all sorts of difficulties. Odd mass, as a pair, as a four. Obviously, even numbers are going with the way that work. Can be run by students, can be run by adults as well okay hope you enjoyed that one see you soon thanks bye